Hello again, this is Frederick Puyot, the Clean Energy Institute of GPEX. In this video tutorial, we're going to talk about the initial tab that we see when we start the rest screen. We'll uh, explain the information in the project information section. We'll navigate and explain the help system. We'll talk about the custom settings and we will go through the uh, different uh, climate data or local uh, site reference conditions. We'll look at the ground station uh, that are available directly from my screen or how we can access the NASA database as well as how you could enter your own climate data. Let's start with the project information area. We've seen how to use the project database to uh, use templates or case studies. Here instead of uh, starting from scratch, we'll use um, a template from the database for a wind project. I already have the project stored by type, so I will select the one kilowatt off grid project and paste that into red screen. We've seen that the project name information can be used for the file names, whether it's a red file or an Excel file. Um, just a reminder on the color coding here, what is gray is information that is coming either from a, a database or from uh, uh, those windows uh, such as the, the, the project database or the uh, product database and so forth or the uh, the climate um, data location um, the yellow information is data that we can enter and the white information is just area that uh, we cannot change uh, I'm going to um, modify the information here from the template um, by putting the my own location here so for example my project will be based on a case study for Trad in France. The, the information prepared for and prepared by is just uh, for information here. So let's say here when I was done for GPEX, and I'll enter my name. Um, again, by default, we have energy efficiency, um, energy efficiency measures. So here, um, a wind project is under power. There are other type of power projects, such as photovoltaic, um, wind project, and so forth. And uh, we'll stick to method one for now, uh, as this does not affect the start tab. Uh, the higher heating value information, there's only two possibilities here, and um, in North America we uh, keep that, and uh, just keep in mind that uh, that information here will um, be important um, not only for um, thermal project, but also for um, power projects um, in regards to the uh, greenhouse gas emission when looking at the um, the base case of uh, fossil fuel also it can be used um, for looking at uh, the uh, doing the calculations for the peak load energy for example if we used a diesel generator or gas uh, propane generator uh, for uh, peak power. If you want to be able to display uh, the general um, settings and preferences of red screen, we can check the box show settings. And here we can see that we have a number of languages available to us. Um, there's also two languages for the user manual. We can select English or French since uh, red screen has been created in Canada. Uh, those are the two official languages. And for the currencies, we can also select other currencies, um, and you could also enter your own currency um, 
for example here if I wanted to have um, Canadian dollar I could just uh, enter that and um, that would allow me to uh, use that when I'm doing the, the cost analysis showing here the C uh, also if I go to method 2 then under the cost analysis here we can see that now we have dollar C for Canadian I will just change that back to um, dollar only okay and here we can also change all the units to be uh, imperial units keep in mind that uh, uh, even though you have one system uh, you can still change the units um, at the cell level so for example here if I have imperial unit but for the temperature I want to be able to display in degree centigrade instead of Fahrenheit uh, I could I could do that for example here if I click on show data and uh, I can change the temperature here to be in Fahrenheit so I'll keep here the metro metric units and um, I want to talk about uh, here we can use the help system so for example if you wanted to have more information about the uh, heating value reference you can use the context sensitive help of red screen so here um, I have the red screen tab activated but if it was not the case then you would just click that tab and then if, you, if I select help then here it would come up and provide information on the uh, that particular cell so this is very useful you don't need to uh, go and look for the manual you can uh, as you're working with red screen you can display those uh, that information you can also search through the manual if I want to have information on all the different type of cells here I can expand software and data click on start and then from there if I want to have more information on all the different areas I can just uh, go and scroll through that I can also do the same thing here by going through each element for example here click on the project name data or the heading and then from there click on the help and that brings up the information let's discuss now the site reference conditions by default show data is not checked so we don't see all the detail and by default so we have the Ottawa International Airport what I'm going to do here is I'm going to paste information for this wind project for um, a, a weather station um, that is close to uh, the project I want to do in southern France so I will select here the climate data location and um, I'm going to replace Canada with France and the closest station here is Perpignan so we'll select that and we notice here that um, we have a, uh, a, a resource that should be fairly decent if I actually look at uh, uh, Paris for example we have uh, about 4.6 uh, 3.7, 3.4, some of the lowest um, wind resource months. Whereas Perpignan, four point nine, and uh, here much better in August, four point three. 
um, so I'm going to paste the information and that if I display the da data that should sh display here all the information there so um, we're seeing here that um, it has uh, pasted the uh, location using latitude and longitude um, what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to use Google Earth to um, uh, get um, information actually on better information on the actual latitude and longitude as well as the elevation here it's showing an elevation of 47 meters so I'm going to start Google Earth And what I had done in Google Earth is that I had to uh, create a bookmark for my project. Here it is, Win Project in Pad. So you double click on that to go to the location. And um, I'd like to point out that. Um, as we actually navigate in Google Earth here, it is showing on the bottom part of the screen the latitude, longitude, as well as the elevation. Uh, this is very handy. Also, when we add a bookmark, um, it's actually here it's called a place mark. It um, automatically uh, shows latitude and longitude. Okay, I already had done that, so I'm just going to use that place mark here. If I want to change that, I can also um, change that from the properties. So here you can see that uh, we have 42 degrees and 39 north and 2 degrees 31 east. So that's what I will use in red screen. Uh, also here the altitude is uh, almost 300 meters so that is also what will change in red screen. So I'll close Google Earth for now. I hope this video will help you with the start tab. In the next video, we'll see how we can customize the site conditions and we'll go through the cost analysis worksheet, some details.